New mother is overjoyed in delivery room before she spots baby's face. It takes an instant to memorize a face. We can retain the memory of 10,000 individuals in our lifetimes, from the cashier at the grocery store you've seen a handful of times to your partner who wakes up on the opposite pillow every morning. Your mind can recognize any face that provoked even just a split-second reaction. When new mother Mercedes Casanellas heard the whimpering of her newborn baby boy, everything disappeared except the face of her son. Though groggy from medication, she took in every detail of her child, which was why she knew something was gravely wrong when he was wheeled in the next day. Dallas-based couple Richard Cushworth and Mercedes Casanellas tackled the rough chapters of their lives and were ready to start something brand new together. Bonded by their faith, they knew they could handle whatever was thrown their way. A recovered alcoholic and drug addict, Richard immersed himself in Christianity, enrolling in Bible study at the Christ for the Nations Institute. That's where he first met Mercedes. She'd left her home country of El Salvador to pursue evangelical studies. The pair married in 2012 and dove headfirst into missionary work in El Salvador. But while abroad, they had to deal with a crisis, back in Texas, Richard's apartment and nearly all of his belongings were destroyed in a fire. In spite of the tragedy, the couple moved back to the Dallas area after several years away, but they continued to travel between the two countries. Meanwhile, they learned they were pregnant, and in May of 2015, Mercedes gave birth at Gynecologico Hospital in El Salvador. In the chaos of post-delivery and the haze of medication, Mercedes had eyes for no one but her son. She studied his features, memorizing them instantly, noticing with overwhelming love how he looked so much like his father. Nurses brought Jacob back from the nursery the next morning, and even after just the four days they'd spent at the hospital, Mercedes felt an instinctual jolt that something wasn't right. She looked at Jacob and knew he didn't match with her vivid memory of their first meeting. When I saw him the first impression was, this is not the same baby that I saw last night, Mercedes told the BBC. She raised her concerns to the nurse, who assured her that was indeed her Jacob, reminding her of the medication in her system post-delivery. Mercedes shoved her fears to the back of her mind. If the hospital was certain, she had to be paranoid. After three months in Central America, the family returned to Dallas to start the new chapter in their journey as a family. Nagging doubts flooded Mercedes' mind day and night as she cared for her baby. She felt a complicated mixture of unconditional love, shame, and uncertainty over whether or not to question her son's identity. The days started to go by and his features, his skin, everything started to change. And he started to not look anything like neither one of us, Mercedes said. She didn't vocalize her worries to Richard out of guilt, but secretly carried out a plan. To ease her mind, Mercedes swabbed her in Jacob's DNA and sent it off for analysis. She hoped to read the results and have relief wash over that, yes, of course, Jacob was her biological son and all this would be put to rest. Instead, she ripped open the envelope and read her DNA match with Jacob was 0%. Mercedes collapsed on the floor, tears stung her eyes, but she at long last knew her gut was right. A million questions whizzed in her mind, but mostly, where was her son? The truth came out when Richard found Mercedes crying on the floor. This was the first he'd heard of any of this, and his panic matched hers. After milling through the obvious questions, they somehow hoped they'd find a way to raise both boys. Gynecologico Hospital worked to figure out what happened once Mercedes and Richard notified them of the situation. They conducted DNA tests on every baby born on the same day as Jacob. Someone else must have had the wrong baby, too. Thankfully, one of the other babies wasn't a match for his bewildered parents, either. Concrete plans followed almost immediately to get the children to their correct families. For Mercedes and Richard, this was both a relief and tremendous loss. Mercedes broke down in tears explaining how they handled giving up Jacob. Saying goodbye was excruciating. I got all his clothes and we took him in the office and we handed him in. And that was the most difficult part, I think, of all the situation. Heartbreak was halted by the world-shifting moment of seeing their son. Mercedes recognized her child even through months of growth and development. He was laughing, and his parents couldn't help laughing too, he was coincidentally dressed like Richard. Based on his three-month sojourn and their faith, they named their son Moses after the Hebrew prophet. Reunions over, the family was anxious to return home, however, they hit a major snag. Re-entry to the United States required a valid birth certificate. 
The never-ending maze of paperwork and roadblocks felt impossible, so Richard, who also held citizenship in the UK, contacted the British Embassy. Ambassador Bernhard Garside helped untangle the diplomacy of their case, though it wasn't without difficulty. He told the BBC, my fear was we weren't really going to see a happy conclusion to this. The El Salvadorian bureaucratic process was painstaking, financially depleting, and at times, looked hopeless. Finally, after nine months of jumping through legal hoops, Moses and Jacob's families were granted their correct birth certificates, so they flew back home. As to how the whole baby swap actually occurred, all investigations have turned up largely with one answer, an honest mistake. Mercedes and Richard would like to see some justice so no one else has to suffer through a similar situation. They consider themselves blessed to have Moses back and made sure they maintained contact with Jacob and his family. Losing out on three months of their child's life is something they need to work to forgive, but as far as baby nurser mix-ups go, theirs was discovered earlier than most. Please share this with your friends and family.